The last time the United States won a FIFA World Cup game was at their own tournament in 1994. They are in the same group as the 2002 joint host Korea Republic and they face Portugal in an opening match who are just thankful to be back amongst the global elite after watching the last three World Cups from the uncomfortable position of their sofa. This has been almost four full years in the making for the USA head coach Bruce Arena. No less than half of his squad are based in their home country. Demarcus Beasley and Landon Donovan, both 20 years old, have been catching the eye in MLS. The United States squad doesn't necessarily match up to their opponents in terms of titles and triumphs, but it could be a farewell tour for some of Portugal's finest. The average age of Antonio Oliveira's starting 11 a smidge under 30, but with experience comes expectation. Chance for the captain then, Ernie Stewart to test this Portugal defence early on. Possibly go for goal himself, which he did. And he's earned the United States a corner. March over there and taken himself as well. USA number eight. That started well. Stewart's corner. The bright header. O'Brien, 1 0 to the United States. A perfect, if not surprising, start. Powerful from McBride. Vita Bayer's hands merely provided an assist for O'Brien. Marcus Beasley has taken it back as well, and he has won a free kick in a potentially threatening position. Petit, of course, with the challenge. As he's over it, it's only Stewart again. He did go for goal, and Vita Baez dropped it, and Sané can't get it in. Was the angle too tight? Did he just run out of room in the end? Either way, Vita Baez is a highly relieved goalkeeper. Haven't had so much of the ball, the United States of America, but they are certainly causing the problems for Portugal. George Costa has given it away straight to Tony Sanna. Portugal wants a foul. Here is Landon Donovan. Oh, the deflection's gone in. It's 2-0. Donovan's almost embarrassed to claim it as his. He is giving the credit to Sané. Portugal are in a right mess now. Donovan is not looking to shoot. And the player who gave the ball away, Jorge Costa, has also seen it deflecting off his shoulder for the United States second. Any back to Brad Friedel, who would have anticipated a busier opening half an hour, I think. Sonny. Mastroeni. Again, they are looking threatening. Sonny has marauded forward. He's trying to find McBride, and Brian McBride makes it 3 0. This is unprecedented fairy tale stuff. How on earth has he got so much room between the Portugal defenders? How on earth are the United States of America 3 0 up against Portugal? And nicely for Luis Figo, and finally Portugal have a corner. Not much to any, but organisation is needed inside the United States penalty area. He will be scratching his head, Luis Figo, about Portugal's start. Beto's header, and it's come back to Beto, and they have one at least. 
Two bites of the cherry from the Portuguese fullback. Less successful with the head, but it came straight back to him from O'Brien, and he was very quick to react. 3 1, and all four goals in the first half. Well, this will have come as a surprise to Grissading, too, I'm sure, and Career Republic's head coach has seen it all. Another Portugal corner. Conceding one before half time is slightly dangerous. Conceding two would be a passage right back into the game for the European side. We go from the left this time. Nearly came the way of Beto again. Sun has helped it on its way. And then the effort back towards goal. Not far away at all. Terrific technique from Rui Costa. Wasn't working with much either in terms of an angle. That Brad Friedel scrambling. Kuto. Just a bit too much on it for Pauletta. He's working Sané though and he's won a corner off him. That's off the left boot and then off the right. Figo's corner is causing issues and then couldn't be turned in. George Costa it was. Brad Friedel was on him before he knew it. First touch came off Shao Pinto. And Friedel had stuck himself to the Portuguese defender like glue. Joao Pinto was just too quick for O'Brien. They're not hanging around Portugal, this is Figo. Two to Weymouth in the middle, one of those Pauletta and Joao Pinto and Friedel jumped above both of them. Suddenly looking a touch tired, here's Pauletta, that's a nice touch as well. Just ran away from Conceição. Beginning to see flashes of the sort of Portugal performance we expected in the first half. O'Brien. Easily. Given away by Agus and straight to Luis Figo as well. Figo looking for Pauletta. will have expected more from himself. Especially when Agus gave the ball straight to Luis Figo. He knew exactly where it was going after that. Conceição. Figo. Petit. Slightly behind Rui Costa from Luis Figo. Just tugging away at the thread here, Portugal. George Costa. This is Pauletta. It's off a Gus and it's gone in. It's an own goal off the American defender. A really awkward moment on the biggest stage for Jeff Agus. I think it came off his shin on his right leg in the end. Barking orders, Sané like a drill sergeant ahead of that throw. Kick Portugal. Immediately given to Luis Figo. Caught again by Mastroeni. And then a rather wasteful cross which could be problematic for Portugal. Joao Pinto apologises but Time is no longer their friend. One last thrust perhaps from Portugal. There will not be another chance for them. It is fast becoming the tournament of shocks. The United States have stunned Portugal. And look what it means.
United States 3, Portugal 2. These are new stars that have earned their stripes.